Welcome to our post poetry file. The world has been gripped by the deadly coronavirus. All around the world, schools were closed and no one was allowed to leave their house. The children began to feel restless and sad as they could no longer go out and meet their friends. And all day long, they sat in front of a screen. Sigh. One day, a scientist named Gizbo decided that enough was enough. He was going to find a cure for the coronavirus. So he set out on a quest to the mystical forest in India to meet some magical and powerful characters. He heard a rustle in the trees. It was Catboy! Play it! Who should I play with today? I have a long less time to say. I'd like to prowl with a lion, surf with the dolphins, cackle with a hyena, and hiss with a cobra. What for you? Prowl with the rabbits and wallow in the mud with a piglet. Oh. All this I could do if I really did try to close my eyes and let my imagination fly. And with that, Catboy sped off with incredible speed. Ah, but he had given Gizbo the scientist something special. Playfulness, an ingredient for a cure to the coronavirus. He kept walking when he came across Pinocchio, who was looking glum. Clothes trouble. My clothes were behaving absurd and badly. My underwear was hiding in the banyan tree. My shoes began singing and playing was sad. My jacket started piercing my heart. My belt rode a horse to the wild west. And my gloves captured a pigeon's nest. My clothes were behaving absurd and batty. Oh, please. Oh, please. Help me. This was the scientist gave Pinocchio his lab coat to end his trouble. Pinocchio was delighted and gave Gizbo another ingredient, a twig that was sprouting from his nose. Next, he came across a bed in the middle of a forest. How strange indeed. As he came closer, he saw Sleeping Beauty and she was not happy to be woken up. I'm staying in bed. You can break the door. You can paint the house red. You can tickle my feet. You can pour water on my head. You can pull off my blanket. But I'm staying in bed. Just get that through your, your, your head that today I'm staying in bed. Sleeping Beauty pouted and huffed but gave this girl, the scientist, a feather from her pillow. Another ingredient! Hooray! He hurried on his way when suddenly a voice boomed. Halt! It was the forest ranger. The wild rumpus. Let's start a wild rumpus. A wild, wild rumpus. Forget about all your worries and your fights. Howl and beat your chest with all your might. Walk the nuttoes the door, shake like jelly and fall to the Oh, roar like a lion, leap like a swan, tiptoe like a spider, like a dog. Let's start this wild rumpus all over again. You all did great, a ten on ten. The wild rumpus was intense. 
and the forest ranger thanked Gizbo by giving him a collection of sounds in his jar. He said, use these sounds in your cure for the coronavirus. He wished him luck and bounded off. Gizbo stood on a beach and saw a ship that was about to set sail. He quickly got on board and you will not believe who was the captain of the ship. Dumbledore! Commotion in the ocean. I am trapped in an enchanted bubble. Help me. It's taking me down in the vast sea. Watch out for the clear shark. Look at it the dark. The sea is coming so close. About the white man pretty nose. Alas, someone has pulled me away. The cheerful octopus has saved my day. The door handed Gizbo a bottle full of the cheerful octopus's ink, a powerful ingredient to defeat the coronavirus. He needed to get off the ship, but Dumbledore said that land was very far away. And just then, Alice in Wonderland approached Gizbo. Just then, Gizbo was approached by a clown. The circus is you. Hey, hey, the circus is here. It's time to get up right here. Look at the familiar juggling. See the skillful acrobat swimming. What in the fun is this guy gonna be? And you then from trumpeting. Gizbo a golden ticket, a special ingredient indeed. He pocketed it and entered the circus. While he was standing in line to enter the show, Cinderella's stepsister Beatrice approached him. She looked rather fashionable indeed. Excuse me, I can't snuggle up with you. I got a dangerous flu. I can't study up my room. The alien has coated away with my broom. I can't eat my breakfast. King Kong has broken my wrist. Ah! These are just lame excuses. Then, mother, you better mend your ways, little monster. Gizbo collected all the excuses from Beatrice before she walked away in a huff. He took his seat and the curtains opened. And in walked the star performer, Simba! No matter what, my mama look at me. Then tell me if you still love me. Whoosh! I can become into a gruesome monster with sharp teeth, claws, and black fur. 
<laughs> I can transform into a dreadfully ugly toad with a long sticky tongue leaping around on the road. Whoosh! I can change into a dirty alien with long tentacles and glowing green skin. No matter what you do, I will still love you. Simba blew heart into the performance filled with her love. And Gizmo caught a couple and stashed it into his special ingredients bag. He began to explore the circus when he came across a museum. How strange! A museum inside a circus! He entered and was greeted by the famous Gecko. He told her that he had met her partner, Catboy, in the forest. Gecko was delighted and decided to share the secrets about the museum. Mysterious Museum While exploring the mysterious museum, I stumbled upon creatures nasty and grim. A mummy that can suck you underground. A mammoth on a rapid stomping around. A knife raising on a pair of skis. And soldiers crooning sad melodies. Gecko handed Gizmo a fistful of mammoth hair, an extremely rare ingredient indeed. He walked about the museum and came to the superhero section. He was admiring the statues when all of a sudden, Supergirl swooped down. My mom's a superhero! My mom is telling you my feet. She can do the most impossible feats. She can wish to the air. She can wrestle with the bear. She can stop a fierce tornado. She can slide down a rainbow. My mom's a superhero. I bet you know. Supergirl gave Gizmo her star that she had received from her mom, a most precious ingredient to defeat the coronavirus. Gizmo carefully added it to his bag when Supergirl caught him and flew to outer space. He was amazed to see Harry Potter. But what on earth was Harry Potter doing in space? Expecto Patronum. Alien invasion. Alien invasion. Oh no. Oh no. My body is trembling from head to toe. Homework has been banned for eternity. The power to talk is now granted to every tree. My blue, orange and pink hair is now compulsory. They are handling pet aliens to everybody. Potter gave Gizmo some of his magic, another ingredient, and flew off on his broom. The aliens were getting nearer. Was this the end for Gizmo? Suddenly, a flash of lightning, and out appeared Hermione Granger. Princess Spaghetti, you can't eat me because I am Princess Spaghetti. When I'm alone, I can create a tornado. When I laugh, I can split you into half. When I cruise, I will float away to the moon. So beware, I'm as powerful as can be, because I'm Princess Spaghetti. Wow! 
know. Who knew that Hermione was actually a princess? Gizbo thanked Hermione for scaring off the aliens and saving his life. She bowed and gave him some special candy. Bertie bought every flavor bean from the Wizarding World. Hermione snapped her fingers and disappeared in a poof of smoke. But Gizbo was still in outer space. And now he was all alone. Help! And just then, the blue fairy heard his cries and appeared out of the gloom. Read a book in the great town of Downtown. Everyone was drawn in a dilemma. The king could not stop guffawing and pranced around. The knight sobbed and flooded the entire town. The men spent all day admiring themselves in the mirror. The babies bellowed and stomped around in a fit of anger. Just then the sorcerer declared, I know just the magic to fix this spell. When dawn breaks, grab a book and read it well. And with the swish of her wand, the blue fairy sent Gizbo the scientist back to his lab. She had left behind some fairy dust and Gizbo quickly collected it into a jar. Immediately, he took out a large pot and began to add in the ingredients from his bag one by one. The potion began to fizzle and bubble and it turned into a warm golden liquid. This was the scientist had done it. He had made the cure for the coronavirus. He is currently working with the top scientists and research laboratories all over the world to teach them how to make the cure. And hopefully soon the coronavirus will be gone for good. And all the children will be able to leave their homes and become happy again. And this book could not have done it without the help of his special friends. Introducing the stars of this evening. Ayan as the daring and cool cat boy. Kian as the sad and confused Pinocchio. Divina as the grumpy but elegant sleeping beauty. Anika as the courageous and mischievous forest ranger. Kayan as the wise and noble Dumbledore. Samriddhi as the ever curious Alice in Wonderland. Yuvraj as the enthusiastic and energetic clown. Lyra as the fancy and chic Beatrice. Anvita as the sweet and loving Tiger Cub. Kyra as the mysterious and strong Gecko. Tiara as the capable and vigorous Supergirl. Tianch as the mystical and brave Harry Potter. Tiana as the powerful and ingenious Hermione Granger. And Tia as the magical and impressive Blue Fairy. And that is the end. Thank you so much for attending our poetry pie and helping Gizbo the scientist create a cure.